What's going on everyone? My name is Zach and welcome to a brand new movie review. I just got done seeing If Bill Street Could Talk. Now, this film was directed and written by Barry Jenkins, the man who directed and wrote Moonlight to winning Best Picture and stealing it from La La Land. And I actually just got done watching Moonlight for the first time today. So it's kind of a nice parallel. And what I can say about If Bill Street Could Talk is one, I don't think it's as good as Moonlight, but... I still loved if Bill Street could talk, and I think, I think it's poetically told. It's such a beautiful and emotional, moving story because if Bill Street could talk is an adaptive from Baldwin's novel, and it follows Trish, a newly engaged Harlem woman who races against the clock to prove her lover's innocence while carrying their firstborn child. It's a celebration of love told through the story of young couple, their family, and their lives. Again, this is a very emotional and beautifully told movie that, again, is poetically told by Barry Jenkins eye on the camera and his writing style he adapted the screenplay to the big screen and i think a lot of people go and sometimes i get these questions where it's like oh these big movies like these smaller independent films like boy erased if bill street could talk moonlight why why should i see it in the theaters and my biggest thing that i can say to you is there's a big difference of watching a movie in the theaters and watching it at home you can definitely get a different experience from watching a big action film at in the theaters and you can get kind of the same reaction watching it at home. Yeah, you won't have the big speakers and you won't have this crowd reaction, but these smaller independent films have something special to them. One, it's quiet in the theater and you aren't tempted to pull out your phone and look at what time it is or text someone. And usually the people who go to these types of movies feel the same way. They want to engage with the film because it's a smaller film. You really have to search these movies out. And in those bigger films, some people just are there just to see it because they've heard it was good or heard it was insane and they want to get their opinion on it. Can't recommend enough seeing If Bill Street Could Talk in the movie theaters because it is a moving film. It is a fast moving film too. The two hour runtime in here just flew like that. And by the time the movie had ended, I, I sat back in my seat, took a breath of fresh air and just was like, oh. I was so engaged into this film. I felt so invested in these characters and I felt like I knew them. I felt like I was there. And it's really hard for a film to put me in there and make me feel like I was there with them. If Bill Street Could Talk does that and Barry Jenkins again directed this film and makes you feel like you're one of them, makes you feel like you're a part of their family, there's crowd-pleasing moments. There's moments that'll make you tear up. There's moments that'll make you laugh. There's moments that you just believe in love. And it makes you want to fall in love. And it's just beautifully told. And I, man, I haven't even talked about the cinematography. One of the opening scenes in here is just beautifully executed from the color palette that Jenkins decided to portray in here. And... Man, this film is something special. Elaine, who plays Tish Rivers in here, is outstandingly the biggest star in this movie. And I've never actually seen her in anything before, but man, she just stole the film. Just grabbed it right under, and she gives one of the best performances of the year. But going down to Stefan James, who plays Fonnie Hunt, her fiancé, he does such a great job. He has a couple emotional scenes in here that just almost break you down. But really, the whole cast in general, Regina King playing Sharon Rivers, the mother of Tish, is great. Ben Domingo playing the father of Tish is great. Tiana Paris, who plays the sister, is great. And the list just goes down and down from there. Everyone gives a very solid performance and a power one at that there's not one person lacking here or there but what I can say about all the performances is there are a couple actors who kind of just show up and they're actually pretty big named actors and when they show up for a second they pull me out of the role and I was like whoa that that person's in this movie and it's so small and so subtle that they never got enough time to really delve into that role and being pretty big actors for a second it takes me out of the movie and it was a weird choice to have them in there, given they're great actors. They do great with the material that they're given, but it just felt like, oh, that person's in there. That's not the character you're portraying. You're just yourself. A little weird in that fact, but still, that it's such a minor complaint. And if I had really any other negatives to the film, it would be there's one segment of the film where one of the characters does go to Puerto Rico segment is beautifully acted it's beautifully told but i felt like it's halted the film for a bit in telling the story of tish and her fiance and i feel like there could have been a different symbolic way of telling this story or telling it in a more smaller manner because tish does narrate a lot of the film and i feel like this could have been just a narrated part maybe that's just me maybe you feel differently let's talk about it down below if bill street could talk is again poetically and beautifully told with a haunting and elegant score this film is 
something special. I cannot wait to rewatch this film. Again, I want to fall in love now because I love the relationship that was built on screen. It's very realistically told, and If Beale Street Could Talk is one of the most special and unique films of this year. So with all that said, I'm going to give If Beale Street Could Talk an A-. minus. Please search this one out, guys, when it comes out near you. Thank you guys so much for watching this, though. If you guys are new here, hit up that like and subscribe button. And also tell me down below what do you guys think of this. Are you guys a fan of Moonlight? Are you guys looking forward to this? Let's talk about it down below. Guys, you guys want to see some movies early? Go check out Sandwich on Films also down there, because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens. You can check out some movie news and even some movie reviews. But guys, of course, until next time, stay classy. We'll <laughs>